Hi folks, this is just a quick tutorial on how to show you how to do a video header on your website using Joomla 4 and Gantry 5. So this video header that you're seeing there is just a YouTube video playing in the background and there's a slideshow going as well. So you have slide 1 and slide 2 showing as well. And I'm just going to show you how to do that. Now obviously as I said I'm using Joomla 4 here and we have Gantry 5 there now there's a couple of things you're going to need you're going to need particles which are called little programs from a website called Inspire Theme and these particles you have to pay for unfortunately um, but um, if you want to have this effect it would be worthwhile uh, doing because they have a lot of particles on this website that you can do and uh, they're quite good but the particles you're going to need are a video background particle and if you scroll down here you'll also need the hero slider and you'll also need as default before you do anything you need to install the UI kit for Gantry now all the information on how to install these are actually in the documentation there. So each one, each particle comes with documentation on how to install it. But basically what you need to do, for people who are familiar with Gantry and are familiar with Joomla, is you need to copy these particles. When you download the zip file and you unzip them, you'll get a couple of files like a YA ml file and a twig file you'll also have an scss file and you might have in the js folder um, a js code there so all these files need to be unzipped and you need to transfer them over into the custom part of your template the custom area so there should be a directory if you don't have a, a folder or a directory called particles you create one um, you should again have a folder with SCSS for your custom files. Um, UI kit folder needs to be copied over when you un unzip it and the JS folder uh, needs to be created when you copy over the JS code there. So I don't really want to go into detail on how to do this. The instructions are on the Inspire theme website. So everything's over there but they're the particles, they're installed now, Hero Slider. UI kit and the video background. So first and foremost when you go into uh, Joomla and if you look at the template I'm using this is a uh, Helium template I'm using and if you go into templates and go into template styles you have Helium there and, and there's two pages there. I'm using the Helium default page. This is what you're seeing here. That's the Helium default page. So I'm using that for example. So in the Helium default page, you have to go into page setup and you need to make sure that you, UI kit for Gantry 5 comes up here when you install it and you need to drag it down to here so it's activated, so it's active. And then when you install the video background, uh, the kit, the particle, uh, into the custom template folder you then drag the video background also in there if you don't do that first and foremost then it's not going to work you need to have them two in there okay so when you and then when you have them in there you save so next what I did was I go back into the actual layout page and in the layout page, uh, base outline comes up there. I selected default because that's the one I'm using. Now what I did was I installed, I dragged the hero slider. There's the hero slider there. And you, you drag it over to where you want it. And I've put it into the features area here. And when you click on the actual cog, you then configure it for what you want. Now... The height is preset, so a lot of these settings are all preset. You don't really have to go near them, to be honest with you. Um, but the one thing you need to do is make sure that when you click on the background, that the, the background is set to, um, that there's no file in the background at all. 
that there's no background file there and when you click on the color that it's set to transparent because if you have a file in your as a background image and then you have the video playing in the background you won't see it so it's important that there's no file in there and that's set to transparent okay and then when you have that done then you create your two slides so i've said this is slide one so i've created slide one i've gone in there and i've added the title this is slide one and the description just some lorem ipsum text on the screen there so apply that and then i've said slide two this is slide two lorem ipsum text and i've applied that as well and then you save okay now this is in the uh, the features section here and this is where we want the video to appear so we have to tell the video background particle to display in this features area here so what we do is when we go back into the page setup the page settings and we go down to video background here we obviously set up a new section like if you click on here it'll say what section do you want so it allows you to create a section so i'll just delete that that's the one that i set up there new item and in the new section this is where you put the youtube video so all i did was so we know it was in the features section so g dash features is what you need if you want to put it in the feature section any of the sections that you put it in like if you want to put it in the header section it'll be g dash header and so on then you get the video from uh, YouTube and you just put in the link, the URL for the YouTube video there. And you have a load of options with mute, mute video, volume, start and everything, or pasty and all of the controls there that you want. If you want to change them, you can do. And then you apply and apply again. And lo and behold, if you do it all right, when you actually go and refresh your page, There you go. So you should have the video playing in the background and the slides should be sliding one after the other. And there's a load of things that you can do with the hero uh, particle. You can add buttons on this screen as well and if you click on a button it'll take you to a URL and stuff like that. So there's loads of other things you can do. But this was tricky when I was sorting this out for myself. Um, it was a bit of a head scratcher and I had to speak to the tech support at Inspire Theme to get it um, working, to work out how it needs to be done. So uh, this is why I'm doing this tutorial to quickly show you how to do it. Um, so hopefully this will help. And if you have any queries, obviously put your comments down below on the video and when i have time i will get to them comments uh, but yeah you need to go over to inspire theme and um, basically you can sign up on inspire theme does they have pricing there so for three months it's 59 uh, standard 79 six months 12 months is 99 euros um, but you can do quite a lot you have particles so there's a load of particles there that you can use some of them are free but most of them you have to pay for but you can do quite a lot and there's wordpress grav and joomla particles there media box and so many things you can do and also they allow you to have access to the templates so you can access these templates as well for joomla so you have the particles and you have the templates for the price that you're getting uh, and you can only even if you just want to sign up for 59 euros and download all these so you have access to them you can do that as well so i hope that was uh, educational uh, for people and if you as i say if you have any questions just to put a comment down below cheers